Hello, this is Billy. Today I'm gonna make an emergency bull boat with a tarp and branches. This is where I got inspired. It's when I was reading the book of Jane Raffin that the idea of building a manda canoe came to my mind. This canoe is made with a buffalo hide, rarely a tarp, and their purpose was to cross river in the prairies, as the expedition of Lewis and Clark did in the 19th century. This is not a curricle from Northern Europe, which has the same appearance, a similarity that led for years the historian from finding out the link between the two. Maybe a whole encounter with a viking, pre or Columbus? Well, I just got here and I forgot my pen to write down my measurement. So I've got, I've got a little problem, so I just found a whole fire, campfire close by, got some coal, and I just wrote it down. And you know what? It's working pretty good, guys. Pretty good. I'll show you. I was very surprised, actually. Just gonna draw you a tree. There we go. Looks like a tree, yeah? Okay. On my little drawing, I got two circles. The first circle on the center is three feet. So the circle at the bottom will be three feet. The other circle above will be 44 inches. So, to find the circumference, all circle, do I need? That I need, I just got this equation. I'm gonna write it down. So with this equation, I can find out the length of the branches I need for both circles. Let's do it. To make this knot, you don't need a lot of rope. Just this. It should it should be way enough, guys. Sometimes, guys. To help the trees bending, you see, I just remove small parts of wood, but just on one side. It will help both trees to bend. Usually guys take always the same kind of wood for both trees, okay? Always. Okay. You see, there is a lot of knots. When there is knots like this, tends to crack. Uh, if I don't take care, it's gonna crack just right here between the knots. But uh, it should work for the bottom. This length, it's about three feet. So I'll show you guys the area. River side, river bed. Nice wider. There you go. There you go. Isn't it beautiful? This is called the Ottawa River, the whole river, Ottawa River. Yeah, this road was taken by voyageurs back in the 18th century. So a lot of voyageurs maybe stopped just right here. It can be because there is a nice beach over there, which I know that voyageurs didn't like too much the beaches because of the sand. Get just everywhere a sense. But you know, never know. Just for the ribs. I'm using poles, same kind as tree, but guys, I'm using it and I'm fixing it the small end together. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work, I'm feeling confident. It's so cool, you know, when you've never done something before and just give it a try, and, you know, from your skill. So just improve all the time. This is neat. Very neat. Yeah, I like it a lot. Make me, you know. Well, right now I am in the bush, so I feel very happy, first of all. And the other thing too, it's giving me, you know, the, the it gave me a lot of experience, self-confidence too. Just can say to my friend, hey man, I've done it, I'll show you guys, we're gonna have fun. So um, so yeah, this is why I like to do bushcrafting, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing for you guys. Oh, I've seen something I wanted to show you before. Cool. Springtime. Very good. The fear, Christmas tree, don't eat it. No good. Can you, can give you some stomach. But this, mm, I've been eating it for a while. And it's, uh, 
sugar, kind of taste of sugar. Very good. Hmm. Hmm. There is so many pine everywhere. Black spruce. Very good. Not pine. Black spruce. Spruce. Hmm. Take care. Oh shit. Okay. All the time it's where the knot is. See? All the time. Always happen. You know. So I took some poles. Got some poles on the uh, on the river riverside. Made kind of a, a perfect round with them, and now I'm ready to put the ribs. There is no other way that I found to do it but this way. Well, that's the way it should be, I guess. It's 8 o'clock, I started around 1 o'clock, so I've been working right now for 7 hours, I'm very tired. Uh, I've got to be careful because when I'm tired, I know myself, usually I hurt myself. So um, today I wanted to do the frame, tomorrow I will have just to make the tarp on it. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it. As you can see, I put three ribs on this side and two ribs on the front. So it should be the front just right here. Well, the frame is done. Very happy. So I can sleep just right here tonight. Cool. Very light. So. Well, I can't wait to see it tomorrow if it will float. Oh man, so tiny. I make this one very tiny. Maybe too tiny. Oh well. Okay, this part is done. I'm not in my garage, you know, doing it with all my tools. <laughs> Try to do my best. Um, it should hold because this is a very strong tarp. So I don't mind, you know, if there is some pressure underneath from, from the water. Um, so it will hold, I'm pretty sure. But uh, now I've got to find a paddle. So now I need a paddle. I just found this on the beach. So I'm gonna try to make a paddle out of this board. Now it's done. It's not fancy, but it's survival. Oh. 
Oh yeah, guys. <laughs> That's working. So I hope you enjoy. That was Billy Ryu building his bulldog. Thanks for watching.